Does your Google Pixel 6 or the Google Pixel 6 Pro wake up randomly even with double tap to check phone and lift to check phone turned off? Let us go ahead and fix that in this video. Hey peeps, what's up? Punchy here, back with another video. And if you have a Pixel 6 or the Pixel 6 Pro and you have noticed that even with tap to check phone and lift to check phone turned off, your Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro wakes up randomly in your car when you're moving around, holding it in your hand. Well, that is a minor issue with this device which does cause battery drain and we are going to fix that in this video. Now do note all the applications which we are using in this video are linked in the description of the video. So for starters you need to go into settings and then you will go into about phone. Once you are in about phone you need to scroll down tap on the build number seven times. You will get a message you are now a developer and you might have to enter your pin to enable developer options. Once that is done we can go back and then you will go into system once you are in system you will notice we have something called developer options next thing we need to do is we need to install an application called ladb now you are free to download it from the play store but on the play store it is a paid application however the application is also open source and again the github page is linked in the description of the video so you are free to compile it using your own personal computer so i have compiled the apk for you and again linked in the description of the video we will go into fx file manager because this is a file manager which will let us install apks and also copy content from a file you are free to use any file manager application which you want to so we will go into main storage and here and we will go into download so these are the two files which you need first one here is ladb apk and the second one is a set of commands which we need to fix this issue so all you need to do is tap on the apk go ahead and install it once you have installed it you have to open it so there it is you can see that ladb is asking us for port and pairing code where do you find this information well that information can be found in settings you will go into system you will go into developer options herein you need to scroll down enable wireless debugging if you get a toggle to enable wireless debugging from this network make sure you select always allow on this network and again make sure you are connected to the wi-fi as well and select allow once that is done we are going to enable usb debugging and on the next prompt select ok as well then we are going to open our recents tap on settings here and say split screen and for the second application we are going to select l adb now we are going to scroll and go into wireless debugging option and here and we are going to say pair device with pairing code so this is the information which we are looking for now the port is the part after the colon so that is 39597 so we are going to enter that information over here 39597 and similarly it is asking us for the pairing code which in this case is 363102 so that is the next information which we need to enter 363102 and we are going to select ok over here and you can see we are now successfully paired and pretty soon we should be in the debugging mode so while we are still waiting for pairing we can tap on the down arrow and at this point feel free to maximize the application which is l adb now once the pairing process has finished successfully you are going to get a message of success in l adb now what if it does not reach the message of success for you well in that case go ahead and reboot your device now once you have rebooted your device super important thing to note is that you will have to go back into developer options and enable wireless debugging one more time because every time you reboot your device wireless debugging gets disabled once you enable that go ahead and open ladb one more time of course make sure you are connected to the internet and you should get the success message now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to check whether our commands of adb shell are working or not so we are going to use a command called get enforce which gets us the se linux status tap on the check mark on the bottom right as you can see it is set as enforcing next thing open your fx file manager go into main storage go into download and press and hold on the text file which you have downloaded 
then tap on the three dot menu on the top right select open with and here in say fx text editor so these are the two commands now the first command here is to fix the issue wherein your device wakes up randomly so all you need to do is press and hold over here and then try to select everything from settings up till the gesture part of zero and say copy once that is done we can go back into our ladb and here in press and hold and say paste and then tap the check mark on the bottom right that's it you will not get any success message or anything like that but you will not get an error message either so as long as you do not get an error message means the command was executed successfully and at this point you should not have those random wake ups which you have even if you have disabled your left to check and tap to check now what if you want to revert it well in that case again as easy as going back into the text file copy the second line and as you can see in the second line we are putting the value as one and then you can go back into ladb paste it over here and you should be good to go and there it is peeps that is how you fix the issue of your pixel 6 or the pixel 6 pro waking up randomly even with your tap to wake and lift to check phone disabled and this should help reduce that battery drain in the background and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you